At the training camp of the Seller Sau, prior to the FIFA Confederations Cup 2013, FIFA arranged for the whole squad to be tested on urine and blood samples, the start of the biological profile. Now with the advancement of science, we are designing new strategy, which means that we get the parameters from uh, blood sampling, the different parameters of blood sampling, and combine them with the sampling procedure in urine for steroid, anabolic steroids and hormones. Both together consist or are resulting in biological profile. I, I believe this biological passport is one step ahead in order to control the health of the players and the fairness of the game. All players of the eight participating teams at the Confederations Cup undergo this new anti-doping procedure which combines blood and urine parameters. It's the first time in the history of team sports that this kind of testing takes place. I'm quite in support of what, what FIFA is doing and the fact that uh, the biological profiling is, is not only targeted at uh, trying to know the substance uh, uh, players are taking or they're trying to know how their system is. Uh, it's in the long run, it's also beneficial to the player. The FIFA Doping Control Unit hands out the samples to the Swiss Laboratory of Doping Analysis. FIFA and the laboratory in Lausanne have been collaborating for 25 years in the fight against doping. The start of a biological profile in football opens new possibilities. You look at the effects of a drug. You don't look at the drug, you don't look for the drug itself. You look at the effects. And the interesting thing is uh, it's very fast. You can test a lot of athletes in a very short time period. Tudo que seja é, esporte sadio, esporte é, sã, né? Eu acho que é, que é bem-vindo até mesmo porque um dos esportes mais vistos no mundo todo, né? Então tem que sempre ter sempre tem que dar um exemplo, né, para todos aqueles outros. Uh, we have to tranquilize them and we have to make them confident on the procedure and we have to explain why we are doing this, how we have to do this and what he should expect about the exams. It's a whole education process. Each person has like a genetically determined blueprint about your hormones, about the steroids, about the blood profiling. If you start to manipulate it, it changes. So once we see that there are some alteration in the values in the long-term process, then we can get a suspicious that there is an unallowed manipulation of the body. The biological profile in football is a long-term project. In a year prior to the FIFA World Cup 2014, all 32 participating teams will undergo the same procedure. Yeah.